found that I lost much of much more of a you know like difficult to deal with than the fractures and the facial disfigurement. If you have a, a nice, well-matched artificial eye that's the right size, when it's a good one, people don't realise it's an artificial eye and that's how good it is. And I don't think that always used to be the case. So the traditional way of making an artificial eye would be using acrylic paints, which has been done for many, many years and hasn't been advanced at all. And then our way is to take a digital photograph and use that on the artificial eye instead. I started this about 12 years ago. I was making artificial eyes, but I became uh, colourblind after the skiing holiday. So there was no way I could paint the eyes the right colour. So I decided to use digital photography uh, so that I didn't have to mix any colours because I was going to get them wrong. It makes it more realistic, more vibrant. We're taking a photograph of the living eye, so it should be exact. It speeds up the manufacturing times. The current service runs uh, from Blackpool uh, as a national artificial eye service. So what I love about the service here in Leeds is that it is local, so it will be accessible to patients who live not just here, but also in the surrounding region. We estimate there's four to 5,000 patients that would need artificial eye appointments. So the potential for the service to impact on those patients is huge. Due to funding from Leeds Hospital Charity, we were able to purchase a high fidelity 3D scanner and printer. So what that means is if a patient happened to lose an eye or wanted a new eye, we have a, a digital version of it, if you like, stored in our network so that we can print it off without the patient having to come into hospital and without them having to undergo the invasive procedure of having another impression taken of their eye socket. I think that a service like this is really critical um, to help people that have lost their eyes because it's, um, it's often really, really important to be able to have an artificial eye and to be able to have a realistic one and to be able to have a really high level of service from the clinical and other staff involved, which is, has all been part of my experience working with the team in Leeds. Ultimately, we're also hoping that this novel technique using photography and making digital artificial eyes can be rolled out nationally so all patients in the UK can benefit.